than jeans. Sorry, I'm so distracted because Figaro is on the blanket on the bed in front of me, just like padding away and purring and wearing his little bandana and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, you beautiful. Are you my beautiful boy? Hi. Oh, are you blessing me with your presence? Are you blessing me? Hi, baby boy. Cleo always wants to be near me when I'm filming, but he just leaves the room. He's like, if you're going to be disruptive, I'm leaving. <laughs> but look at him. Oh, I mean, you can't see him. Maybe you can see his tail. Fiki, he's rubbing on me. What a sweetheart. I love you, Fig. Fig, I love you. Wow. He's sniffing stuff. Anyway. Hi, lovelies. Welcome to today's video, which is... October faves and I know Halloween's over but October is the month of Halloween so I've left all my Halloween goodies up I hope you don't mind I just didn't do a lot of Halloween videos this month and since like I said October is Halloween month I wanted to leave it up so I hope you don't mind and yeah I'm gonna do this like I did my September um, favorites where I kind of do it in two parts so I hope you don't mind so please watch to the very end because there will be some extra stuff at the end to do with my goals throughout October and if I achieved them or not and stuff like that. But let's get into my favourites. If you didn't know, I do my favourites in a specific way to stop myself talking for hours. Figgy, what are you doing? What are you doing? You never say hi. He never comes and says hi for videos. Say hi. He's wearing his Halloween bandana. He's a handsome boy. Yes, he is. Say hi, baby. Hi. Oh. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> Good boy. Um, yeah, so let's get into this. So the way I do it is I pick a fashion favourite, a food favourite, a home favourite, a beauty favourite and my lifesaver of the month. And I'm going to start with my lifesaver of the month because it is this little baby that I'm wearing, which I have talked about in a couple of videos, but it is really important. and. It literally is a lifesaver. Um, so this is a band for fighting lupus um, and Lupus UK bought them out and it says join the fight against lupus. Um, they're really cheap but the money goes towards the charity and they have helped me more than I can even explain since I first got ill. They've explained my illness to me more than doctors have and um, made me realise like what I should be flagging up with doctors and what I shouldn't be that concerned about and it's just been amazing so they do really amazing work please check out the link below I'll, I'll link them and um, yeah you can buy pins and stuff and they're really cheap it's for a good cause and October was actually lupus awareness month as well so I think that's why they did a big push of all that stuff and I got myself a band my food favorite is something that I've got a feeling I've shared before but I have to be true to myself and this is what I've been obsessed with this month. It is hot sauce. Specifically Frank's hot sauce. Fig, I think your hair's on my lip now. Which I don't want really. I have been putting this on basically everything that I eat. <laughs> I I love hot sauce at all times of the year and of all months, but I don't know, this month I seem to have eaten a record amount. And the other day we went to a restaurant and they had some on the table and I literally used like half the bottle on what I was eating, so like I'm salivating, I wanna go and cook and put this on everything. So yes, Franks. My beauty favourite I'm actually wearing today and I am obsessed with, it is the Too Faced Gingerbread Spice uh, palette. It's eyeshadow palette, it smells like gingerbread spice. It is just, how stunning is that? And I had a real, real bad experience with this. I ordered it from Debenhams and it came and it was completely smashed to bits. And it went everywhere all over my sofa because of where I opened it up because I just obviously wasn't expecting it to be like that. So I ordered, um, no I messaged them and they sent me a second one and it was the exact same, like smashed to bits. Um, so I, they said I could take it into a store so I took it to my local Debenhams and I was just like I just want a refund, like just give me a refund. I said if you've got one here that I can look at and buy I'll buy it and they had one. I was like it was meant for me and it was this one and it was fine. Um, Look at that. It is just adorable. I'm obsessed with gingerbread 
and I'm also just ginger flavoured anything really but gingerbread and I'm also obsessed with like gingerbread men at Christmas I like my fave like I love gingerbread print anything gingerbread so this was like made for me I was gonna Ben was like why didn't you ask for it for Christmas and I was like because I want it now like I can't wait till Christmas for this look how stunning the colours are like I know it's gonna be a bit trippy because of the mirror but oh my god is that not just gorgeous I'm obsessed I'm wearing it today and honestly my first impressions is just stunning I love it so much there's so many different colour combinations you can do with this palette so I am buzzing I'll probably be wearing this until next year so <laughs> my fashion favourite is odd because I don't know if I've ever had a fashion favourite that's black but my fashion favourite is these polka dot trousers with the with the flares at the bottom that are like oh my god roughly I just adore them they are so comfortable like I'm actually thinking about buying a second pair in case anything happens to this pair I love them they're so comfortable so soft and they just I've, I've found so many out cute outfits with them but they're like so much more comfortable than jeans sorry I'm so distracted because Figaro is on the blanket on the bed in front of me just like padding away and purring and wearing his little bandana and I'm dead. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these trousers. <laughs> I particularly love wearing them with uh, the white jumper that I paired them with in the Shein haul and the red jumper from my ASOS haul that was the same one as that. Like wearing that together I just absolutely love it. It's so comfy and so perfect and I'm obsessed. My home favourite is actually all of this. <laughs> Having like my new little like set and it's been all autumnal and now it's Halloween-y and we got autumn bedding that I showed you in the um, homeware, bargain homeware haul um, but also we got our like autumn cushions and blankets and stuff out of the loft, uh, they were in boxes and they're on our bed as well so I, I'll include a shot of that here. house feel so cozy and lovely for this time of year has just been absolutely joyous I love it every time this year this time of year rolls around so I'm a happy bean um, so yeah let's cut to my goals and what I achieved this month and what I wanted to do and it's not even um, it's not even really like goals or things I want to achieve it's more just like like what my month has been like how my month has been and um, yeah what it's been like I just want to like let you in more into like what my month's like and what it's consisted of um, and living as a person with a chronic disease is a unique experience <laughs> um, and so often my goals are fairly small and seem very achievable to most people but are not for me so um but i do hope you've enjoyed this video so far please do watch to the end and give it a like if you did enjoy it and obviously subscribe if you're not already i'd just love to have you be part of the gang and yeah i hope you enjoy the rest of this video bye apologies in advance if you can hear my cat purring on my lap as i record this but listen you can't move a purring cat so October was a bit of a weird month for me. I've not been feeling particularly great and I've had my fair share of hospital appointments and stuff. So my first goal was to plan more of our Disney trip. Um, if you've ever been to Disney World, you'll know it takes a lot of planning. And although at the moment it's not anything concrete, it's just kind of writing down like what I would like to do and watching lots of Disney vlogs and Disney tip videos, um, it's been something that's been really fun and nice and happy for me to do on the days where I felt unwell. And the second thing I really wanted to do in October was to be more adventurous with makeup. So I bought a brand new eyeshadow palette and I've been having so much fun with it, but this was just my absolute favorite look that I did this month. And then onto my third one, which was to enjoy my physio exercises. So I've just started physio for my 
uh, fibromyalgia and my lupus and um, yeah I didn't want to just write to do them because I knew I was going to stick to doing them because it's what's been recommended for me but I really wanted to just enjoy it just relax and have fun doing it um, and I think I've accomplished that actually All in all, October has been quite homely, I've been quite unwell, but I have accomplished the things that I really wanted to and the vibe of my month has just been very cosy, very creative and just a bit chill, which I think is what I've needed. So yeah, I've had a lovely October, I hope you have too and thank you for watching.